All right, hello, welcome to um, this video. So basically, there's not many videos about the the smoke screen and the light stream, light beam, whatever thingies, the movement styles. Um, so before I wanted to buy this, I tried looking it up, and there's just not many videos explaining it. But I ended up buying it anyway, and that's why I want to do a video on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the the movement style on all four movement uh, types, so you can kind of base it off that so you know how it looks basically and I'm gonna start it with this character super speed and I'll quickly show that right now I'm, I'm recording this uh, on Christmas itself and then there, there's a there's a pretty big sale going on for six of them so if you go to uh, movement styles uh, some of these still cost 850 but if you go down some of them cost 425 so what I would recommend if is if you want to get any of these, please just buy them on the sale. Uh, they're nice and all, but 850 is way too much for a movement style. Um, yeah, so I bought the blue smoke screen, and I'm going to show it off. Uh, and I'm going to start on super speed. So kind of switch into the movement mode. This is how it looks. There's like a blue puddle of smoke. Looks pretty cool on itself, actually. If you run, there's like a, a smoke cloud following you, following your feet actually. Um, if you use your regular super speed thingy, it doesn't just follow your feet. I feel like it follows your um, your entire body, but I'm quickly gonna test that actually. Uh, okay, hold up. So if you oh, if you choose the default, the uh, the lightning kind of follows your entire body and then if you switch to the smoke it just follows your feet uh, I feel like the reason they did this is to not make uh, it too obnoxious because if your entire uh, screen is just filled with uh, with blue smoke then you're not going to be able to see anything because as you saw there that was the boosty thing when you hold space or jump or uh, X And this is how it looks if you keep it on. So if you just tap it real quick, it looks like this. Just a small boost thingy. And if you hold it, it looks like this. And it stays like this for a while. Let me just uh, quickly go up. This is how it looks. So it doesn't stop. Oh. Gotta watch out that I don't get attacked. Okay. So this is a regular movement, or this is a regular speed, and then this is uh, when you run fast. Uh, the trail is longer because you're running faster, obviously. Let me just run up. Uh, I'll run up this building real quick. This is how it looks. And we'll jump off like this. So the effect does get less. So at the start, you have like a big cloud, and then it's followed by a little smaller cloud. Little smaller of a cloud, whatever. Mm, but it's still pretty nice. Ooh, collection, I'm gonna grab that. Not that I need it, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. So yeah. Um, in my opinion, super speed is... Uh, actually, I feel like... No, okay, the movement abilities look cool on everything, but I feel like on super speed it looks like one of the better ones. Uh, but skimming and acrobatics looks cool as well, and flight is what I'll get onto in a second. Uh, it looks decent, but I mean you have more use out of it uh, in super speed. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna switch to flight, then I'll do uh, and I'll do skimming first, then flight, then acrobatics. Uh, so I'll see you in a second. All right, on to skimming. So when to turn another tune, and I'll show off how the movement style looks over here. So as I said, this is a skimming character. Uh, first of all, if you fly up into the air, instead of the discs being discs, they're like blue energy, kind of. Wait, let me fly up higher. So you're kind of standing on, on bluish clouds. Uh, going up looks like this, so there's like a... It's like a, a fire beam coming out of it. And then going down looks like this. It kind of covers your entire... Wait, let me just fly up real quick. Kind of covers up your entire body if you're flying down. And what you saw there uh, with flight and skimming is if you go down, you go into like a hyper thingy, like that. 
looks like this. Which is really nice. Yeah, I'll fly I'll fly a little bit this way just to show it off. So if you go up, there's like a big ass blue fiery thing coming out of it, which is like absolutely nice. And then this, oof, you're kinda you're just skimming on clouds basically. Looks hell nice. Let me zoom in a little more. There it is. So I'm not sure if with the regular skimming you can actually see your feet through the, I think you can, through the skimming discs, but over here you can clearly. And then yeah, I'll go, I'll go down like this. Although it's hard to put my camera correctly there. Like this. Kind of the beam just takes over. It's nice how it like, uh, combines with my aura because I'm wearing pink smoke. But yeah, that's skimming. I'll, uh, I'll go on to uh, either flight or acrobatics next. Alright, we're back with flight. Uh, and then I'll finish it off with acrobatics after this. So, uh, flight is like one of the movements where, I mean, I guess with acrobatics, where you barely notice uh, any effects added onto it if you don't have a movement style. But obviously, having it now is going to change that. <clears throat> So just in flight mode, when you ascend, uh, there's this little blue... Wait, actually, I'll, I'll take my aura off so uh, you can see it clearer. But I feel like with, uh, with, um, uh, with flight, it's easier to see it without an aura. Uh, maybe sh I should have done this in Gotham, actually, because it's darker there. But yeah, so it looks like this, and then when you fly up, Okay, yeah, I should have probably gone for Gotham. When you sh when you fly up, there's like this, yeah, blue cloud behind it. Basically the same as with skimming. Uh, when you go down, also kind of the same. But the main difference uh, between flight and skimming is that uh, the cloud follows you like this, so in a straight line. Whereas with skimming, you're kind of flying like this, so the cloud follows you. Uh, horizontally if that makes sense I don't feel like it is making sense no wait I mean so this is like horizontal basically it follows your feet but since my feet are like um, pointing towards the screen uh, the fire beamy thing is gonna look straighter at you uh, but yeah I cannot really visualize I cannot really explain but you can see I'm visualizing it by doing it so I hope that's clear enough Jesus okay um, so yeah, flying down looks like this Oh, maybe this is a. I'll turn the camera like this. Yeah. Okay. Speeding up looks like this. Flying up. You don't really notice that much. Yeah. Okay. I feel like for flight, uh, the movement style is not really worth it. So if all of your characters are flight, then don't get it. But obviously, you're gonna have some characters that are with the, that have a different movement uh, mode. So definitely use it on other characters. Okay, I'll finish it up with acrobatics. I feel like acrobatics... I haven't tested it, but I feel like it's going to be way better. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome to the last one. We're at acrobatics right now. I'm on my last tune. Um, about the 10 tunes that I have, this is the only one with acrobatics. And it's a level 9 one. So I was in the middle of a mission, apparently. Uh, and I'm not really going to bother to go to Gotham just to show it off better with the night time. So uh, you'll be able to see it, no worries. Uh, so yeah, we're on to acrobatics. Uh, let me just let me just drop down real quick. Uh, okay. This is, so this is how the hovering looks. Comes out of your hand, kind of like how acrobatics is supposed to work. I'll go to a place where there's like buildings. Okay, we'll drop onto here. So this is how it looks. I'll try to go around. Notice that it doesn't really come out of your hands, but there's like a small gap in between. Same goes for the other movements, uh, but I didn't mention that. Okay. Also, the ring is why the red effect is here, if you don't know. Okay, so that's it. Now, if you stand on the ground with your movement on, it looks like this. So it's basically just like a, like a puddle of blue smoky stuff. Oh, hi, okay. That's how it looks. 
If I turn my movement off, it fades away. If I turn it on, it fades in. Okay, can you go away? Thank you. If you run like this, there's like small uh, foot marks, I guess. Uh, puffs of blue smoke. Oh, and then if you jump and um, you know with acrobatics when you're about to grapple, there's like a little thing around you as you can see right now. That's how it looks. If I grapple, it looks like this. But the grapple actually changes color, which is sick. It's like a blue smoky grapple. And then flying looks like this. So just the same. Um, yeah, the same as hovering. And I feel like it's a little longer, maybe? The, I feel like the, the beam around it. So this is when I'm hovering. And this is when I'm flying. I feel like the beam is a little longer. Oh yeah, because I'm going faster, obviously. Okay, let's uh, let's grapple again. So yeah. Oh yeah, looks sick. Acrobatics is hella fun to play around with. Okay, uh, I'll fly up real quick. So yeah, um, unlike uh, flight, it doesn't really follow you straight. So if you if you okay, I don't know how I'm gonna explain this. If you ascend really high. The beam is kind of like underneath you, and same if you go down real quick, the beam's like above you like this. That's obviously because you're going up and down, but if you're in a stable height, it, it stays like this. Yeah, okay, so that's it. That's acrobatics. I hope this was somehow useful. Let me just spam this. No, okay, I, I hope it was somehow useful. Um, again, the reason I did this is because it's the sale right now, uh, as I explained at the start. Um, and I hope that if you want to get another color, you can kind of base it off of this, because there's not many videos about this online. But yeah, this is how the smoky, and especially the blue smoky thing looks. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped somehow. Peace.